What's going on guys, it's Michael MGF, and today I'm going to be doing another LEGO Star Wars 2014 set review on the General Grievous wheel bike. And the set number for this one is 75040, the recommended ages are 7 through 12, and it has a piece count of 261. And it is actually pictured on the box this time, because uh, this is the American version of the box, because now it is past February 17th, and that means the LEGO Star Wars and practically the rest of whatever winter sets uh, the LEGO group had planned are now pretty much all out everywhere in LEGO stores and Walmarts and Targets and Toys R Us's and I myself actually got the wheel bike and several other sets at Toys R Us recently and that's where these are showing up for me uh, where I live locally so uh, yeah really awesome and uh, this one will be retailing for $24.99 if you didn't already see in the info box below uh, just a few seconds ago so yeah this is one of those sets way back in 2004 when I was a kid that I missed out on and really regretted missing out on and uh, I really do like it there are a couple flaws but I mean for the most part it's a pretty solid set and I definitely recommend it and the price point of $24.99 while the Grievous' wheel bike is a little bit small it does have the appropriate piece count I mean minifigures are definitely fantastic and definitely Definitely a really awesome set. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at both minifigures included with the General Grievous wheel bike. Starting off with uh, the live action version of Obi-Wan Kenobi as he appeared in Revenge of the Sith and uh, this version of Obi-Wan Kenobi is actually updated since the last time we saw this version of Obi-Wan Kenobi which I believe was Anakin's Jedi Interceptor and uh, it's definitely some really nice and welcome upgrades those upgrades being a new designed a newly designed torso which definitely looks better and a lot more accurate and just a, you know a nice step up and the utility belt is definitely a lot more detail and the Jedi robes do look better and uh, what's really great about the torso is they eliminated the whole problem that we had with the Jedi looking robe torsos is they had like a really dark tan looking skin it looked awful and thankfully like I said that problem was eliminated uh, with this torso that so that's definitely an improvement not to mention uh, the back detailing and uh, let's just talk about the Magna Guard staff here this is included with the set and uh, practically what it is is it's just a normal Lego rod with uh, two lightsaber hilts attached to both ends and uh, those lightsaber hilts consisting of basically just this and they have a little uh, gem on each end to represent that of the electricity emitted from a Magna Guard staff and Obi-Wan does come with that as we all know he used that during this whole fight sequence and uh, yeah so pulling that away as uh, nice as it is to get it you know in this set pulling it away for now uh, you'll notice the back of the torso like I was trying to talk about there uh, which does look very nice having its own array of detail not to mention the continuation of the utility belt which definitely looks very nice and the pouches look great and then we do get a new uh, set of leg printing I believe that's new leg printing if I'm a and be sure to let me know in the comments below. There have been so many new Jedi leg printing, uh, you know, legs recently. Jedi leg printing legs. Yes, that makes sense. And therefore, I'll go with it. But yeah, just kind of hard to keep up. But I do believe that is new for this minifigure. If not, uh, I do apologize. But yeah, he does also come with the signature blaster that he used to decimate Grievous in the end of the whole fight sequence during the Battle of Utapau with him versus Grievous. So yeah, really great to see that. But clearly nothing really new given that it is just a normal blaster. So uh, yeah, then Obi-Wan does have the standard Obi-Wan hairpiece that we've been seeing with him and uh, most of his recent versions and uh, then the actual head itself is also very nice which does uh, once again have the exact same head that we saw with him uh, on the uh, Je Anakin's Jedi Interceptor set so it's really great to see this head once more uh, just I did notice that the whole uh, color of his um, of his beard and uh, his hair is definitely a little bit you know more uh, reddish uh, with this version of Obi-Wan so yeah very basic facial expression for the front but definitely looking awesome and then for the other side is alternative facial expression which is honestly with in my my opinion is more preferable uh, the more aggressive facial expression which is definitely pretty awesome and uh, really glad that the Lego group has finally gotten to that point where they have made the definitive Obi-Wan which really doesn't have any flaws and oh my god is this awesome new General Grievous and uh, looking awesome but I mean he does use the exact same mold as uh, the Clone Wars variant of General Grievous which is okay I definitely think this minifigure looks really great, but uh, the problem here is, I think his eyes, and uh, the eyes honestly I think lack a little bit, and I think they could look a little bit more detailed and perhaps a little bit more vibrant, but I mean it's not that huge of a deal, you're not going to look at this General Grievous and be like, oh that face is not good enough, it works, you know, it's, it's still a definitive looking General Grievous, aside from my ridiculous nitpicking, and uh, one problem here though is if you look closely at uh, his, his his head there, uh, you'll notice that the actual like vent 
you know, the venting area on the bottom of, of his mouth, it is a little bit faded looking on mine. Hopefully this is just on mine and not on the ones that you guys will get. Um, but mine looks a little bit faded and maybe even misprinted, so that's a little bit of a problem. But I mean, this is still a really fantastic minifigure. But uh, the one thing I pointed out, even way back in, what was it, 2010, when this General Grievous mold was introduced, is uh, I know his lightsabers look super awesome. I really like him holding them too, but we got to get them out of the way for right now. Uh, so let's just remove these temporarily. And uh, you'll see that if you take Obi-Wan here, for instance, and uh, line him up against uh, General Grievous, General Grievous isn't that much bigger than Obi-Wan, and he's definitely out of scale. So while this is a really nice version of General Grievous, it's just the problem here is with this mold of General Grievous that we've had since 2010, unfortunately, uh, it, is, it is a little small. But I mean, overlooking that, this minifigure is fantastic. And as you can see, uh, he's made up of a pretty decent amount of parts. You have uh, his legs here, his torso piece, and then, you know, all four of his arms. So, I mean, right there, that's a pretty decent amount of parts to make up just one minifigure. And, uh, yeah, so really awesome General Grievous minifigure. I just really wish that he maybe they could have redone the redid the mold for uh, this, you know, set. And maybe we could have gotten a bigger General Grievous. But, I mean, other than that, the printing on him is great. The printing on his shoulders, the printing on his wrists for all four of his arms all looking fantastic. If you couldn't already tell, this minifigure is fully posable in just about every way. You really couldn't ask for more in terms of posability. He's got his his uh, secondary arms clamped onto his primary ones, and uh, his head is fully posable as well, moving up and down. So, I mean, this is a really great version of General Grievous, and as awesome as it looks, it is a little out of scale, but uh, hey. Who cares? So with the minifigures out of the way, we're going to go ahead and move the box aside for just a quick moment along with the minifigures themselves. And uh, the wheel bike itself is really awesome. And uh, what's really great about it is just how accurate it is. And it's really great because it's just really sleek, really modern, and really updated looking. And that's really what we're looking for with all these remakes of these, you know, classic uh, prequel sets. So the main problem with the wheel bike, though, that I want to mention right off the bat here is that it doesn't have boga. We have the wheel bike along with General Grievous, but we don't have anything for Obi-Wan. We're just, you know, I mean, obviously in the movie, Obi-Wan at one point does jump off of Boga and onto the wheel bike, but I mean, still, it would have been awesome to have Boga just like the uh, classic version of this set, but we do not unfortunately get Boga. And uh, I mean, if the price point was changed from $24.99 to $29.99 just to get Boga, I would have paid that, you know? I think a lot of us would have too, but um, still the wheel bike by itself really does suffice in a lot of ways and uh, you'll notice right off the bat here we do have the cockpit uh, for Grievous and the way this practically works is you just go ahead take Grievous and all four of his friggin lightsabers and get those out of the way and uh, then just get him in a sitting position like any other minifigure but uh, obviously he does not he's not like another any other minifigure so pretty much he has two available studs right here that you can attach his, these lightsabers just keep rolling around stop it uh, there are two available studs you can attach Grievous' legs to. They can get a Grievous-friendly cockpit and uh, also a minifigure-friendly cockpit. You can attach a minifigure's legs to those as well. Um, but clearly it's intended for Grievous and his mold. Um, but yeah, so the cockpit, it's its kind of a pain to keep, to get Grievous' legs attached to the studs while keeping the wheel bike in a standing position. As you can see, the legs just got totally messed up. And I'll get to that in just a minute as to you know how flimsy they are. Um, but you'll notice right here we do have this piece. And this is super awesome and probably makes up the whole cockpit piece or the whole cockpit area for me is this one little control panel piece. That is not a sticker and you do actually get two of these with that set. And if you, I, I didn't even remember this control panel piece that Grievous had in the in the film until I saw the piece and I was like, oh yeah, I remember that. That's super awesome how the Lego group actually implemented that. Definitely one of the highlights of the set would definitely be that piece. I think that's super awesome and uh, really great to see in this set. And it just goes to show how accurate this all is. Um, but yeah, so once Grievous is pretty much seated inside or, you know, on his little seat, his little grievous wheel bike throne thing, this entire area. 
he does look pretty nice and uh, clearly this is Grievous' wheel bike. It just looks awesome. And uh, yeah, so the main feature with the wheel bike here, you'll notice as I've been showing it to you, the pose that I had it in is already really messed up. And that's the main problem with Grievous' wheel bike. Once you do get it back in a standing position, all it takes is a little bit of pressure on the top and then it'll go collapsing right back down. So say I have it in a, it's kind of hard. You see, it, it, this is the main problem with it is getting it into a standing position. So say I have it in a standing position kind of like that just takes a little bit of pressure and there it goes and that's kind of a problem I wish the, the, the legs were a little bit more stiff and perhaps didn't use ball joints because when you when you have a Grievous's wheel bike you don't need the legs to go out like this I mean maybe if you want it to look like it's in a jumping pose but still I don't think ball joints were necessarily the right way to go while they still work I mean, it'll take you a while to get the Grievous' wheel like in a decent standing position. It won't take you a while, but longer than it should. Um, but regardless, you'll see that we do have these hooks right down here, which act as the feet for the for Grievous' wheel bike, and uh, they are also really nice. Definitely love these pieces. I don't think I've actually seen these pieces in a set. These are my first time getting them, so it's really great and a definitely nice introduction for me personally with these pieces because they look great acting as the feet for the wheel bike. So practically, the way the wheel bike folds in is pretty obvious. You have the front legs here which fold in just like this and uh, what you're supposed to do is take the little clips that are used for the feet and fold them in kind of like that and uh, then do the same for the other side and uh, then just simply once again do it I'll do it on that side as well and then uh, you can see here I kind of already had the other legs folded uh, upward uh, you the, the back legs and then, one, then once again just fold these to look kind of like little pinchers and that's practically what the uh, feet are supposed to look like when they're folded in they're supposed to look like little pinchers if you've ever seen like an earwig crawling around your house um, but yeah so I mean that's what it looks like in its folding position and uh, I just really love the wheel bike I mean personally with the wheel bike itself I don't have a whole lot of complaints other than the fact that the legs are a little bit hard to work with but I mean that's something that you can overlook it doesn't ruin the entire set and I absolutely do love the ring of uh, you know these uh, panels that make up the actual wheel itself they look great and there are actually 12 of these little sections right here that make up this entire wheel and uh, it's really great and it rolls nicely on a carpet but you see it's kind of hard to roll it on a flat surface it doesn't really go and that's kind of a problem with the wheel bike that you're gonna have to get past it does not roll well on a flat surface at all but I mean on a carpet it does go a little bit further I did notice um, but yeah so there's a really nice usage of uh, sand blue pieces here with sand blue cheese slopes and some sand blue angular pieces implemented as well and a nice variety of technic and then another functionality that I probably shouldn't leave out is that of course we do have a flick fire missile but not necessarily a flick fire missile because because this is one of those flick fire missiles that has it has its own mechanism to back it up and uh, right just to mention right here these main cannons here are just for looks and accuracy purposes they're not they're actually meant to fire but then you have this one which does actually fire so putting uh, Obi-Wan in the line of sight here boom ineffective playability feature and that my friends is why Lego has elected to introduce the spring-loaded shooters because sometimes flick fire missiles just don't work and uh, yeah so other than that though, it's a that's really it for the Grievous' wheel bike and I do love the uh, clear piece that's used here to hold uh, all the little panels that make up uh, the actual wheel itself. Really great piece in the center here, really awesome. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for Grievous' wheel bike. Something I should also mention here is that all these little vent pieces that are used on the actual panels that make up the wheel are all metallic and uh, so are practically all these little vent pieces used on this set are all metallic, uh, which is definitely pretty cool to see. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much it for Grievous' wheel bike. I think that pretty much does it, and uh, I really do like it. I Honestly, aside from the legs and them being a bit flimsy and not having a boga, this set is fantastic and easily a, a must-get for practically anyone who's a fan of Revenge of the Sith. So, yeah, there is General Grievous' wheel bike as part of the LEGO Star Wars 2014 winter lineup. And the box is actually a, honestly, an expected size. And with all the 2014 sets we've been getting, they've actually had, you know, relatively small boxes than what I would expect. But then Grievous' wheel bike alongside the Jedi Interceptor and Viewing, uh, they're actually, you know, pretty, you know, expected sized boxes. So, yeah, really nice box art. It has, uh, you know, the recreation of the famous scene that, by the way, I will not be implementing into my Siege of Pow City mock that I am planning for Brick Fair Virginia 2014 because, uh, 
Well, these guys weren't really present in, in you know, Pow City for that long. As a matter of fact, they just kind of, as you can see, just zoomed by Pow City and weren't, weren't really there for that long. That's why I won't be, you know, including the wheel bike itself in my mock for Brick Fair. But other than that, a uh, really nice box, and it does have Obi-Wan sporting the actual size reference, and then you have the wheel bike and all the features that I just went over previously. And uh, then you have that fi another recreation of that really awesome shot when Grievous just jumps out, uh, you know, off the top of Pow City and uh, straight down into a really awesome slide and uh, for the most part really great box and definitely uh, you know serves its purpose just once again where's Boga the instruction manual follows the standard look and the standard format for uh, the 2014 sets we've been seeing so far. It's only a 54-page build, as you can see right there. Um, and yeah, so then you have the new advertiser for lego.com slash stars that we've been seeing with the 2014 sets, along with all of these fantastic renders of some of the new minifigures being included with the 2014 lineup, excluding the exclusive sets and the microfighters. And the same can be said for the checklist over here on the right, once again, excluding the exclusive sets and the microfighters. Fighters. Um, but I mean, this one doesn't actually ex exclude the exclusive sets because you do have the uh, Shock Troopers and, uh, you know, Palpatine. So I guess this here doesn't exclude the exclusive minifigures included with the exclusive sets. Exclusive, exclusive, but exclusive. So there's your instruction manual, and uh, so glad that I made sense explaining that. The extra pieces included with Grievous' wheel bike are definitely pretty fair. You get a sand blue cheese slope, as you can see right here. Uh, you also get one of these pieces, which I pointed out earlier in the review, which is super awesome. Absolutely love this piece. And uh, super glad that I, we did get an extra one because it is awesome. And then you do get an extra lightsaber hilt in uh, the standard chrome color and then one in the standard light bluish gray color. So pretty, you know, expected set of extra pieces. Just uh, super glad that we got an extra one of these because they are awesome. Boga, where did you go? Alright guys, so that about does it for this review on the General Grievous' wheel bike, one of the more highly anticipated sets for the LEGO Star Wars 2014 winter lineup. And uh, if you enjoyed this review or found it informative, be sure to leave this video a like below, as uh, your support really does go a long way. And I just picked up like nine of the new LEGO Star Wars sets, and I plan on reviewing them at least every two days. Uh, I'm going to try to do my best to crank out these reviews as quickly as possible, as uh, I don't want them to be sitting around and then eventually just end up not getting reviewed. So yeah, that's, you know, that's if that goes to plan or if it doesn't you can find all the updates and stuffs about that on my Twitter and the book face links to both of those are also in the description below as always and you can definitely check those out if you'd like now the Grievous's wheel bike I mean you guys heard my opinion aside from the fact that Grievous's facial printing could have been a little bit better and the fact that we don't get Boga this is a fantastic set, and it's priced pretty decently. I mean, honestly, if they included a Boga and priced it up to $29.99, I would have paid that. And I think a lot of you guys would have too, because uh, this set, while it is awesome for what you do get, it does kind of feel incomplete with that space right over there to Obi-Wan's left not being filled with Boga. Um, so, I mean, you know, odds are we're probably not going to see a Boga anytime soon, if at all. So it's unfortunate, it really is, but I mean, still a really awesome set that I know you guys are probably going to be picking up regardless of my thoughts. But, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this review, guys, and I will catch you all later. All right. Bye! No, no, no. With all due respect, sir, General Grievous fled the system, and General Kenobi is nowhere to be found. These are 7 through 12, and it has a piece count of... And uh, this one will be retailing for... Gosh. Oh. And the box is... Act uh, okay, just go out of focus. I appreciate that. Kind of updated since the, wa the last time we saw him. Yes, the last. New word in the MGF Visual Dictionary. Visual Dictionary?